Okay, hi everyone, it's uh, Kirk in Montreal. Happy Friday. Got a package in the mail today. I ordered a couple of DVDs, uh, The Fog and The Howling, uh, both by Screen Factory, Show Factory. And I just got the DVDs. Um, I like Blu-ray, but the thing is I have my Blu-ray in my living room and I much prefer to watch TV when I'm in bed, especially movies and stuff like that. So I have my VCR and my DVD player in my bedroom hooked up to the television set with headphones and stuff like that, so it's very comfortable. But I don't know how to hook up my Blu-ray in my bedroom with my DVD and my uh, VCR. Because I don't have, like, uh, on my TV, it's, 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 like, probably about 10 years old. It's a nice TV. And it has, like, a, a you can plug in a headphone, which I like and because I really don't care for the cordless headphones but there's no HDMI cord plug-in for the Blu-ray on that TV so I'm not sure how to hook it up so for now I just basically buy you know DVDs and if, if Blu-rays are on special or something like that I will you know I will definitely get those and just put them away and watch them like whenever so anyway so uh, yeah so I've been wanting the uh, the new Fog movie by um, Scream and Shout Factory, and uh, but here at the video store near my place, the music video store where they sell DVDs, literally going for like thirty dollars a piece. So I thought like shit, that's a lot of money for like a DVD. So anyway, so Future Shop here in Montreal has them for fourteen ninety nine, which is a good deal. So I get the Howling, which I've never seen the Howling on forty eight, and I've never ever once watched the Howling in full. So I ordered that one, and I ordered the new Fog. So anyway. This is my first unboxing, so just bear with me. And I have to do everything with one hand, so. Actually, I have to admit the cover of the fog is a lot better seeing it in person than seeing it online. When they first showed it online, I was like, are you effing kidding me? I really didn't like it. I'm a huge fan of the fog movie. It's probably one of my most favorite movies that I watch incessantly. Um, I still watch it on VHS, and I do have it on DVD with the green, the greenish cover when it was like re-released with the, the commentary and stuff like that and the bonus material, which was very good. So when Scream Shark Factory decided they were going to re-release it with this, I was like, great. And I have to admit, the cover looks much better in person. I'm sure, you know, you fog lovers have already seen this, but anyway. Forgive me for the bad filming. I love this movie. And I also want to visit, even though I live in Canada, I want to visit the Fog locations. One place I would love to go to is where they film this movie. So if any of you guys out there, maybe one time in the future, want to take like a group trek to the Fog locations, let me know. Maybe we'll work something out and we'll, we'll all go together. It'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I think of all the John Carpenter films, I think this is probably my most favorite. And yeah, I think it kind of beats Halloween, at least in my opinion. There's just something about it. It's kind of like a simple movie, but it really, it really sucks you in. So I'm really happy with that, and I can't wait to see the new bonus features that are on here. The Fog. Happy, happy. Now The Howling. Yeah, I'm 48. I'm a horror movie buff. Love horror films. And I have never once watched The Howling. I think the reason why is because I'm really not much into werewolf, werewolf movies. Uh, although I did see, what was that movie called? An American Werewolf in London? It took me years to see that one too. So I'm just not into the whole werewolf thing. But, but, because The Scream Shout Factory released it, and they put, I think, I'm not sure exactly what the new bonus features are for this one, but anyway... As long as there's commentary on it and it's a horror film, I'll pretty much watch it to a certain degree. I'm a commentary addict and I hate when movies, especially horror movies, do not come with commentary. Brian De Palma, listen to what I'm saying, dude. Like, I mean, really, how can you have Carrie on DVD and not have a commentary? 
right? How can you have Dress to Kill on DVD and not do commentary? How can you have Blowout on DVD and not do commentary? One thing I like about John Carpenter, even though this one's not a John Carpenter film, is that John Carpenter is pretty damn good when it comes to commentary. And another one of my favorite movies that I love, which I was not happy with the commentary with, it was like too, too, too psychological-ish commentary was uh, Dolores Claiborne. Loved the film, seen it over and over and over and over again. Jennifer, Jennifer Jason Lee, Kathy Bates, loved that film. Got the DVD, was happy to have it on DVD, was happy there was a commentary, but Taylor Hackford, the commentary was just so boring. I like knowing the intricacies of the making the film behind the scenes, who got along, who didn't get, get along, how many times it took to shoot, where it was shot, blah, blah, blah. I like to know every little detail about a movie. So it literally can take me, like, you know, if I watch movies at night when I'm in bed, it can take me, like, pretty much a long time to watch, you know, to watch a movie because I love commentary. I like knowing all the makings of it. Yeah, so those are those. I'm happy with the prices, too. Like I say, $14.99 each. Um, I'm still waiting to get Terror Train. Terror Train here is literally going for 30 bucks, as I said. There's something about a $30 price point here in Montreal with DVDs. And even at the Future Shop, it's still it's still kind of pricey. And, you know, like I say, there's a limit that I'm going to pay for a DVD. And so, like, when I get two DVDs for 30 bucks, that's, you know, that's not bad. And like I said, even though it's not Blu-ray, you know, do I really truly care? Absolutely not, you know. Um... I actually got two DVD, two Blu-rays the other day on special, um, The Strangers, and my Bloody Valentine, the remake, my Bloody Valentine 3D, uh, 3D, the 3D one, and it was 6.99 each. I was like, excellent. See stuff like that, I like. I don't believe in paying like thirty dollars, forty dollars for a freaking DVD. Absolutely not. And another one of my favorites that I have in my bedroom is uh, Christine, John Carpenter's Christine. Love that movie, addicted to it, watch it over and over and over and over again, listen to the commentary over and over and over again. Maybe I have some kind of, you know, psychological problem where I constantly listen to const the same commentary over and over, but, you know, when you like something, you like something, so whatever, you know? Anyway, so, that's going to wrap this one up. This is my first, like I said, my first unboxing, my first DVD commentary, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm very happy with these, and I can't wait to watch them. Can't wait to watch them. And uh, anyway, happy Friday, y'all. Take care. Ciao.